day grade nines and welcome back to Tuma Mina teaching. You are tuned in for your fifth lesson in term three for EMS. I know that some of you might be wondering what subject should I take next year? Or what career path should I follow once I complete grade 12? I know that this can be very overwhelming because there are many decisions to make. This is a special lesson to help you journey through the various subjects of commerce, such as accounting, economics, and business studies. We will also explore a few career options that you might be interested in. Wow! This must be magical binoculars! And oh look! These are the offices of the South African Reserve Bank. The primary mandate of the South African Reserve Bank is to regulate the value of the currency for sustainable economic growth. In addition, the SARB has a statutory mandate to improve and protect financial stability in South Africa. It must be really fun to work here! But I wonder what the requirements are to qualify for such an amazing job. Oh, I know this place. It is Ikasi Coffee Company. Hi, Kamva. Your coffee shop looks amazing. Thanks, Shante. Building a successful coffee shop in the front of you took a lot of effort and hard work. I had to study very hard and was lucky enough to study for a BCom degree at university. Although I don't work at the fancy reserve bank, I could still open my own business. Great nines, where are we now? That's right, we are in the offices of the Deloitte accounting firm with many accountants walking around. Grade nines, how many of you are looking forward to wearing a fancy suit or tie one day? Or you are looking forward to being the head of a boardroom meeting? Grade nines, all of these various employees had to gain certain qualifications and develop certain skills in order to fulfill their responsibilities. So, what subjects do you think they chose when they were in your position? Today, we are going to explore these subjects. In grade seven, eight and nine, you had the subject EMS. EMS consisted out of three streams, namely financial literacy, economics, and entrepreneurship. These three streams filter into the grade 10, 11, and 12 phase with the new subjects, accounting, economics, and business studies. Some schools are fortunate enough to have all three of these subjects while others only have some of them. Be as it may, these subjects can help you become a better entrepreneur, accountant or economist. The first subject that we will look at is called economics. What is economics about? Economics is the study of how individuals, businesses, governments and other organizations within our society choose to use scarce resources to meet endless needs and wants in a manner that is efficient and equitable. Economics deals with analyzing the markets, predicting future changes, as well as solving various economic problems. So grade nines, if you are interested in knowing how the world works around you, Economics might be a very good choice. Economics teaches us about how markets function, 
what the various problems are and how to solve these problems. Economics also teaches us more about how people deal with money on a personal, community and national level. Economics opens up a wide variety of career options for you. Examples of these career options are financial planners or economists. Economists are not only bound to one specific job description. They can be economists in various industries such as agricultural economists. Whatever it may be, economics is an essential and very good subject to have if you want to become a business manager or an entrepreneur. Grade nines, now that we have come to the end of the theoretical part of economics, we are excited to introduce you to an economist that specializes in the field of economics. Okay, so I'm Dr. Deborah Shepard. I'm a senior lecturer at the University of Stellenbosch in the economics department. And I've been teaching, sure, for 17 years now, since 2008 was my first year. And um, yeah, love teaching first years, especially been teaching first years since uh, 2008, taught them for 13 years. And besides being um, a lecturer in economics, I also do some research in economics. Um, yeah, I guess that's fine. Welcome! We have a lot of eager grade nines that are waiting in anticipation to hear some advice from you on your career and possible career opportunities. Thank you for being with us. We have a few questions that we would like to ask you. Which subjects did you have at school or would you recommend to someone that is considering pursuing the field of economics? So when I was in high school, uh, I did all of the sciences and accounting and art, um, which is a bit of a strange combination. Um, and art and mathematics were my favorite subjects. Probably why my aptitude test said I should have been an architect, but here I am sitting as an economist. Um, but I actually don't think it's so strange because funnily enough, economics is a very creative subject. Um, it's a subject that requires you to imagine a lot. Um, we're having to simplify something that's very complex into models that, you know, sometimes feel quite made up and often they are, but they just help us to explain something very detailed that we see in the real world, but in a very simple, understandable, not necessarily perfect or accurate way, but a very easily digestible and very um, yeah, useful, usable tool. Sure, that sounds so interesting. Our final question is, what advice do you have for a grade nine learner who already knows they would like to become an economist? What should they do to prepare for this career right now? I think that understanding the world around you is in any case an important thing for anyone to do irrespective of what they hope to pursue. Um, and the reason I say that is because when you are making a choice about what to do as a career, I think one of the most valuable things you can consider is how will this contribute in a way that is meaningful? And that way, that meaningfulness can apply just to you. I mean, we know that everyone wants to get a good paying job. And <laughs> one of the jokes goes, when we have high unemployment, who doesn't lose their jobs? The economists, because they have to explain why there is high unemployment. <laughs> um, so, you know, pursuing a degree in economics does offer you a lot of job security. I'm not going to lie about that because it really does. It is one of the, apparently one of the um, skills that are in short supply. So it's on the short, on the um, uh, skill shortage list of national government in South Africa. Um, so it definitely does offer you security in terms of getting a job and getting um, not just a job, but a well-paid job. Um, but also I think it's, a, it's the type of work that can really make a difference in society. And so if you learn about the world and you feel frustrated about what you see, if you're feeling that there is some injustice in the world, um, and therefore you might have a passion for the law. Economics goes with the law. 
if you look around the world, if you look in the world around you and you think that there's um, an issue with availability of food, economics goes with agriculture. The most amazing thing about economics is that it actually goes almost with anything you can study. Um, the idea behind economics is that you're not necessarily studying to be an economist. You're studying to see the world in a particular way where the goal is to bring about change. Thank you so much for your valuable input. See Grade Nines, economics is a very valuable subject. It helps you become a better citizen of our country and teaches you more about social impact, poverty, inequality and finding the right resources for all the needs and wants in this country. The next subject we will look at is accounting. Accounting is a subject that looks at the financial recording of various transactions, analyzing financial statements and providing various advice on how to improve the financial position of a business. Here are some reasons why you can choose accounting. Accounting teaches you how to complete and interpret financial statements, which include all income, expenses, assets and liabilities. It helps you understand the financial position of the business. It also helps with financial planning. Accounting can help you develop various personal financing skills, like budgeting. It teaches you how to set financial goals and manage your money properly. If you are interested in a career in the corporate world, accounting holds great advantages for you. You could become a chartered accountant or a financial advisor. Additionally, accounting can help you become an amazing business entrepreneur as well, as you will know how to run the financial aspects of your business. Today, we are going to chat with an accountant that specializes in the accounting field. Welcome. We are so honored to have you with us. Hi, my name is Matthew Williams and I'm a chartered accountant. I'm currently working at Clever Profits as the fulfillment manager. Our first question to you is, what subjects did you have at high school? And do you think accounting, business studies and economics is useful in your career? What subjects did I have? I had maths, accounting, science and CAT, but what's relevant for studying to be a chartered accountant is just maths and accounting um, for me personally. But I know that business studies and economics is also something to help give you context to, to the field that you're going to go into. We would also like to ask what advice you have for a grade 9 learner that is set upon becoming an accountant one day, but would like to know what they can do right now in preparation for it. Yeah, so what advice would I give to someone who knows they want to be a chartered accountant or just on what it means to be a chartered accountant overall? Um, I think the perception sometimes is that you it's, it's kind of a boring job that you, you just do the same thing over and over again. You're just working with numbers and you just sit behind a desk in the office all day, but it's really not that. Um, it's, it's so much more that it's, the opportunities are endless because finance is everywhere. So as a chartered accountant, um, it's more than just doing someone's books and even just giving an opinion on the books. So advice that I would give to someone who wants to go in this profession is to focus on working hard and, and doing your job well and doing the basics well, but also to grow your other skills, which is your people skills and the way you interact with people, the way you communicate, the way you present things, um, because that's going to be what sets you apart. And if, if, you, if you don't enjoy what you do, that's the, the last thing, then, then it will be boring. So make sure that you actually enjoy um, when you know the, the books reconcile, when, when the maths make sense, um, because that's a big part of the job. But then a big part of the job is people um, as, as a chartered accountant and people value your opinion. People want to know what you have to say. Um, so yeah, grow those skills and be aware that, that that's the world that you're stepping into. So work on all of those things as quickly as you can um, a, a, as you are um, in high school. Thank you so much for sharing such insightful information with us. I am sure the Grade Nines have learned so much from you today. Grade Nines, there are many universities that supply various accounting degrees, 
but require you to take mathematics and accounting as subjects. And last, but by no means least, is business studies. This is my favorite subject. It allows me to explore the various internal factors of a business and look at the external factors which influence a business. Business studies as a subject focuses on the world of business and how it works. It allows you to learn more about various aspects of businesses such as marketing, production, or even public relations. Here are a few reasons why business studies is a very good subject to choose. Business studies gives you a good background on how various businesses operate. It also helps you to understand how the economy works and how businesses play an important role in society. You may learn about enterprise planning, innovation and the process of starting a business on your own. It can inspire you to pursue your own ideas and dreams. Today we are welcomed by an entrepreneur of form in the business field. We are so fortunate to have you with us today. Greetings. My name is Wendy Vessel Antimbani. I'm the founder of a brand called Matomani. Matomani is an alternative source of protein where we make amazing protein snacks that's made from indigenous uh, superfood called Mopani worms. It's the best protein that you can find because it comes with 60% natural uh, protein with all the essential amino acids that you need to function optimally. What subjects did you have at high school? And do you think business studies has helped you? The subjects that I did was science and maths and accounting as well, and as well as biology. Uh, however, I did those subjects because I studied chemical engineering and that was the requirement, you know, in order to get to a uh, higher education uh, uh, with those uh, required subjects. But as an entrepreneur, um, I, uh, what subjects should you be taking um, uh, when you want to pursue a career uh, in entrepreneurship? And the subject that you should be considering and taking very seriously, it's business studies. Um, why business studies, you may ask? It's because that it's going to give you the skills that you require in order to become a successful entrepreneur. Um, unfortunately for me, uh, when I was uh, uh, in high school uh, many years ago, uh, that subject didn't exist. Uh, but you are lucky because that subject exists. So have I had you know, that subject uh, uh, in, a, in my earlier years, um, I would have learned a lot you know, about entrepreneurship. Uh, it's a great subject. It's going to teach you all that you need to know about entrepreneurship. We would also like to ask what advice you have for the future entrepreneurs sitting before you and how they can prepare in becoming the best entrepreneur one day. The first advice is go to school and take your studies seriously. Um, aim for uh, higher marks in your studies. Um, and, and, and that basically opens up a path to open up a lot of uh, uh, opportunities uh, uh, when, when you do that. You need to take uh, what you love uh, uh, seriously. So you need to be dedicated. You need to be committed. Um, also, start researching uh, the different, like I, I talked about uh, solving a particular problem. Start looking around you in terms of what are the different problems that you can solve. You know, what can you do in order to solve that problem and how can you do it? Uh, start uh, asking questions. Start uh, uh, the, the, the business, you know, in your area. Start observing, you know. You can even go and volunteer, you know, to just... Uh, and learn what they are doing. You know, you can go to entrepreneurs or people that have started businesses and start asking them questions. And another thing that you can do is also start slowly reading business news, business newspapers, online as well, anything related to business. Start following around in terms of your surrounding, uh, what is going on, you know, in terms of business, in terms of areas, what are the challenges, how can they be solved? And then that way it will help you to start preparing. But the most important thing uh, also, 
start talking to people, start talking to businesses, start talking to uh, your teachers, your peers, and see you know how uh, 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 you can solve certain problems. So, but go to school, uh, get good grades, go get good marks. Uh, uh, that is also um, uh, a way to prepare you for the future. Thank you. Grade nines, if you require more information about the subjects, go ahead and speak to your teacher. Remember, this is a very important choice that you need to make. So, make sure that it's suitable to you and what you want to do after school. Don't listen to friends. Don't always listen to what people have to say. You do what's best for you. Grade nines, good luck with the decisions that you need to make. We are looking forward to seeing you next term. Bye!